let's see how we can convert a number from decimal to binary using Excel so here what I'll do is I'll give it a title here numbers and the next column we will uh, call this one remainder see if we pick any number we choose 1050 now if you want to do this thing by hand this will take a lot of time but if you use Excel this will actually not take a lot of time so here uh, what we do is first we find the quotient meaning dividing number 1050 by 2 and discarding the decimal part so for that Excel has a formula called quotient Q U O T I N T and you inside you put in give the cell reference and then type 2 right. and leave this uh, particular cell empty come here and now here find the modulus of this number M modulus meaning the remainder after dividing by 2 right so when you divide a number by 2 the remainder would be either 0 or 1 so this one this cell is the remainder of this value divided by 2 and this is the quotient meaning the result of the, the result of division and discarding the decimal part so if you divide 1050 by 2 uh, you get 525 and now what we can do is we can drag and drop because we have cell references we can drag and drop so we drag and drop click on the fill handle uh, by 525 keep going down go down a few values now you want to stop when you hit up one so we will discard these two zeros so we will right click go to clear contents and get rid of these and same thing you want to do here you want to click on the fill handle the little tiny square at the bottom right and drag it down and bring it right next to the one right here right so this is the binary equivalent of 1050 including this one but it's in reverse order meaning you start from this one then this value and this value and this value you want to go all the way up so for that we have to use a few excel tricks what first thing we will do is we will because all these values are formula based uh, we will first convert them into actual numbers meaning values so you first you copy them then you go to paste click on the little arrow and then you click on the paste values what this does is it strips the formulas and converts these numbers into actual values now we want to sort these two columns in such a way that the bottom row comes to the top right and the top row comes to the bottom so we will highlight starting with the column headings and then you go to data menu option then you click on sort and in sort you say sort by numbers meaning the column whose heading is numbers and smallest to largest right so then you hit OK and what that does is this basically sorts this from smallest to largest this is the first value of the binary equivalent and second value and third value and fourth value so what we'll do is we will we want them in a row from column so we copy these click on the home tab copy these and then we apply the transpose for a function in Excel and leave one column to the left empty so I'll be clicking on E14 leaving A4, uh, B14 leaving A14 empty and what you do is you once you copy you go to paste special and you ch check transpose right so it takes this column and basically makes it a row then you type this one by hand here so this is the binary equivalent of 1050 you can verify the result so to verify the result we'll convert this binary back into decimal so what we, what we do is we from the right to the left start from 0 and then 1 and 2 then what you do is you highlight the three cells that you typed in click on the fill handle the bottom right and bring it all the way to the first column okay and then uh, in the third row you type the formula equal first row multiplied by 
2 to the power this is the caret symbol 2 to the power in this side okay hit enter so what this means is 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 0 okay so this one will be 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 this will be 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 this will be 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 this will be 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 like that so if we just click on the fill handle and drag it all the way to the left we get these numbers now if you add up all these numbers they should come to 1050 so you click on the column to the extreme right the first empty column on the extreme right and you click on the auto sum button this auto sum right here so it says some um, a16 to k16 that's correct hit enter and it comes to 1050 which is our proof that this one here is the binary equivalent of one zero five zero so it's a pretty simple way of calculating uh, binary equivalent if you have a decimal using Excel and it's also kind of fun because you get to see how uh, this process actually works